Hi guys, welcome to my channel Practical Reefer, my name's Mark. Now, just a quick update on the tank, so it's the weekend again and as I do every weekend I belong to my, my local LFS which is Nessie Lair, Nessie's Lair and I'll get in Fife. Um, so I always had a plan to get a few Nassaria snails and uh, I quite like conscious because they're quite funny looking but they do also clean the surface of the sand bed and the Nassaria snails will clean the top. So just this weekend, now I did have the lights on quite a bit longer on the Friday because I sat and watched the live stream with like Bearded Reef, Moxie's Aquarium, uh, Fish Palace and uh, Jay's Real Reef. So the lights were going to be on until about 10 o'clock rather than the usual 5 or 6 o'clock. Um, whether that was part of it, but I do have, um, I mean I've not cleaned the glass in a few days so there's a bit of green film algae. I know there's quite a lot of green film algae starting to grow on a lot of the rocks as well even though I've got my, my 10 Cerith snails in there. Um, hopefully they'll, they'll keep working on that though, I, I don't think that's a problem. Um, I'm not going to rush out and buy more snails, I think I've got enough to deal with that, although I'll clean the glass myself. Um, my little box of the mushrooms up here is looking a bit filthy, that needs to be taken out and cleaned and I'm also going to deal with the um, the frag plugs that are there, they've got a lot of bryopsis and green hair algae on them so I've kind of, that's why I've separated them from the, the rest of the tank. One of the pieces was actually sat against my main uh, structure at the back here and some of the bryopsis kind of grew onto it so I'm going to get the toothbrush and a siphon and I'll get rid of the stuff that's on the main structure. However, I'm going to be dipping uh, those frags in hydrogen peroxide which I've got and has arrived uh, yesterday. So I'll get rid of that um, and I'll do a little video on that just to show you how to get rid of that. Hopefully it works, I've never done it but um, I'm assured it does. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get green, fil well, green film algae starting to grow a bit. Um, the sand bed is starting to look a little bit dirtier now, it's been fairly, not pristine but I, I siphon it as well, I give it a vacuum. But what I've done today, I've bought myself four Nassaria snails and two conches. Um, so I'll let you see the sand bed just now um, and I'll show you the what I've bought. And uh, we'll maybe come back in a few days and we'll have a look at the sand bed as well or in a week. And, um, I may need some more of these but I'm starting low and then uh, I can always add more later. I don't want to have too much cleanup crew. Um, I'd rather they didn't starve um, and that's a bit of a shame. So we'll have a look at the sand bed and I'll let you see what I've got. So guys here we go, um, some clove polyps there but you can see at the back, um, this was all vacuumed on a Thursday so the green film and I had the Tunzi out as well, Tunzi uh, Nano is a great little scraper. Um, so to be fair that's the first time the glass had a really good going over um, for a couple of weeks and it's bounced back so um, I've been feeling a little bit heavier but the, yeah the sand bed's starting to, to get a little bit dirty, there's a bit of... Um, Guessing that's uh, fish poop, maybe, or oh, it's maybe, oh, it's maybe little bits of algae that's been scraped off the glass, maybe clumping together. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get a bit brown on the bottom. This bit needs a bit of a scrape. I only get so far with the Tunzi, and I've got a, a cheaper um, algae scraper that's just a, a metal bar. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some Nassaria snails in there, get the couple of conches. But I'll let you see those, and we'll pop them in the tank. I've actually been uh, acclimating them. The, it's it has been drip acclimation and I've just loosened the, the knot there a few seconds ago just to get a bit more water in. But um, there's one there trying to escape. I've got the one conch there. Um, oh, that's the other conch there's the big one. And then there's an Asarius water surface too there. And another one there. I'll pop these in a glass and I'll let you see them. And there we go guys, they're off. Um, I've just dropped them in. Um, I did pop them in the glass but it wasn't very good for filming them just for a, a second. But there's... The Nassaria snails are all, <laughs> they're pretty much gone. You've got my two conches there. Googly eye number one. Googly eye number two. I can't focus quite right. And you can see the Nassaria snails there straight into the, the substrate. I do wonder if four was enough. Um, but I think that's going to be great. It's going to keep my sand bed turned over. The conches will keep the surface clean and the Nassaria snails will, will get it turned around a bit and turn it over. Um, whether I should have put them all in the same place, but it's going to be dodgems for the next five minutes, I think. But um, oh, I managed to get. Um, I did ask in the shop as well. Asked if I could get two with the sort of the black or the darker. Is it proboscis? Proboscis. Um, the antennae, and then two with the the sort of a, a greyer one, just for a bit of difference. And it turns out the shells are actually there's two darker shells and two lighter ones. So. But yeah, they're off and away. I think this one's going to struggle with the conch and on top of him, but I'll give them there. Oh, there we go. Oh, the conch is reacting movement, so just be careful. He had his uh, mouth out and he was eating away and the eyes were in there, but as soon as I moved the camera closer, he, he got startled. Oh, he's actually 
twirling the bit of gravel about and giving it a good go. He's also being moved by an Asari snail underneath him. I think uh, they're all bumping into each other underneath the sand, but um, looks like they'll absolutely do the job. Really happy with that. Um, looking great, this one seems quite happy. <laughs> He's not bothered by me anyway. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the famous mouth that everyone talks about with the conscious. These are, I believe they're fighting conscious, um, so they're quite small. Won't get very big. I think that one's got a bit of a... Uh, Coraline algae on its shell as well, and this one looks like almost like quite a quite a new shell, but yeah, looks cool. The, the Nasaria snails are all pretty much gone now, and that's literally me just dropped them in straight away, just burying into the sand or burrowing into the sand. They were in the shop and they they have a minimal amount of substrate. It's maybe like a centimeter, so it's enough for them, I think, to be just happy. But certainly can't burrow like this. I've got a good inch or so. So, um, but yeah, really happy that. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Just a quick one showing the uh, showing my tank. I need to crack on and actually give the uh, the glass a good wipe. Um, had a, a busy weekend, um, but yeah, I'll give that a wipe. And uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Give me a little like and a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you all next time.